We all get excited during the holiday season, even our pets. Unfortunately, between the food, weather, and decorations, it can be a challenge to keep our furry friends out of trouble. Which is why we asked Morgan Weber with Lucky Pup Adventures to share some tips on keeping your pets safe during the holidays. Yes. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. So, how does this added excitement affect our pets? Yes, so, um, you know, it's one thing to be hosting a big event and maybe you're a little bit stressed as the owner because you're trying to cook and make sure everything's clean and ready to go for your guests. Your dogs are going to feel that, but now more people are also added into your home. So it can be just like when you're hosting, you can be excited and a little bit nervous all at the same time. And how about as far as our guests bringing their pets with? Yes, kind of like Gary was talking about, it can be a little bit stressful when you're bringing two different families of pets together who maybe haven't met. So one of the big things is to give everybody a really slow introduction. It's kind of hard sometimes at the holidays when everyone just has to come right in. But if you can maybe take dogs outside, give them some time to get to know each other before they come into the house, that can be very helpful. And giving dogs breaks or pets breaks from each other is also important. So how do we help our pets cope with this? Yeah, so big things are take your dog out for a walk in the morning, get them some good exercise so that way they are just have less energy to be excited with. You can give them long-lasting chew treats, um, you know, food dispensing toys, things like that, just to help keep them busy. Um, other things you can do are, you know, we want to keep them away from those dangerous food items. Um, so things that are going to cause them problems, we can keep um, them interested in other things so they keep away from those dangerous items. What advice do you have when it comes to one of the options was, you know, keeping them busy and yes. maybe separated from everything going on? And so what advice do you have for keeping your pets in a different room? Yeah, so you can use baby gates. Baby gates are great. You can use them in front of a front door to help keep your dog from getting in and out. Keep them in your kitchen um, or wherever your family is going to be. You can also use baby gates to separate your dog from the people. So maybe if your dog's a little bit nervous or there's kids running around and they're not used to kids, I would definitely encourage using a baby gate to keep everybody safe. <laughs> what if your dog is a spider monkey and climbs <laughs> over the baby gate? <laughs> yeah, so then I would use a leash. So you can attach the leash to your dog's collar or a harness. They don't have to hold it the whole time. You can let it drag behind them, but it's really easy to grab that leash to help redirect a dog or to help keep them from something that they shouldn't have. Okay, so now I want to go back to that other point on that graphic we had yes. of the dangerous foods. Yes. What are some of these dangerous foods? So dangerous foods, you know, things um, like caffeine are going to be really um, kind of stimulate their system so it can cause digestive problems. Um, medications, obviously, you know, with more people in the house, um, you can be care have to be careful about people putting a bottle of Advil down, maybe where they weren't expecting it. Some dogs have problems with dairy, but one of the big things for dogs is going to be xylitol, which are artificial sweeteners, and then chocolate. Um, too much chocolate, even just a tiny bit of xylitol, Xylitol can cause really severe problems. So when we're during the holidays and we're all together and everyone's eating, yes. I mean, it's not necessarily the fact that people are handing their pets food or just kind of sneaking it to them. Yep. But a lot of food gets dropped on the floor. So what do we do about that? Yeah. So you might have, you know, like that uncle that really just wants to give the dog a little bit of his turkey or, you know, his roast beef or something. A little bit of that is okay. But again, if someone drops, you know, a piece of chocolate cake on the floor or a piece of that, you know, a, sh a cookie that maybe would have been made with an artificial sweetener, that's all dangerous. I'd really recommend having somebody whose only job of the day is to watch the dogs. So it might seem a little over, like, too much, but that person can be watching the dog, making sure they're not eating the food that's dropped on the floor, helping monitor those situations. Watching kids, you know, kids love to love on dogs, but most dogs don't like to be loved on. They don't really like hugs. They don't want kids to get in their face. So if you can have someone whose only job is to watch for those things, you can really prevent something potentially very dangerous. And I know this is one little aspect of it once the food is done, but putting it in the garbage? Yes. What role does that play? Yeah, so you want to make sure your garbage can actually has a lid on it. Um, I had a friend who is, her little girl had chewed on some gum that had some artificial sweetener in it, threw it in the garbage can. Well, the dog got it out of the garbage can and actually had to go to the emergency vet for a very serious issue. So having a garbage can that has a lid on it. Um, so again, you know, our dogs can have a little bit of turkey or something low, low fat, but if we start putting turkey bones in a garbage can and the dogs get into those, um, those cooked bones can really cause problems. So lids with garbage cans are always, a, or sorry, garbage cans with lids are always a good thing. So what do we do if our pets do end up getting a hold of an excess amount of food and we're kind of in an emergency situation? Yeah, so thankfully in Sioux Falls area we do have an emergency vet. They're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including holidays. So you can find them um, there on the corner just south of 41st in Minnesota. So they are there all the time. You can call ahead if it's a real big emergency and they kind of can be prepared for you when you come in. Otherwise, they're available. Um, it's really important to have that number somewhere easily accessible because in an emergency, those little um, 
time amounts make a big difference. And what happens if your pet does escape when guests are coming and going and they get outside? Yeah, so again, baby gates are great. Having a leash on your dog is great, but accidents do happen. You know, maybe you, you had some neighbor kids over, your family came over, and they left the back gate open. You didn't realize that the dog got out. Things to do are post on social media. There's a lot of great groups in Sioux Falls that are posting about lost and found dogs. But call animal control as well. Somebody may have found your dog and called animal control. So if you can get a hold of that, that's always good. And leave somebody back at home while you're searching the neighborhood. Because what you don't want is the dog to maybe have just gone a couple houses down, you didn't see it, and then they come back and there's nobody there to let them back in. And what should we keep in mind as far as our holiday decor goes? Yes, yeah, so it's always great. It's fun to decorate for the holidays, but we want to keep our pet safety in mind. So keep things above where they're at. So maybe you have a Christmas tree you're going to put up, put the decorations further up. Maybe you want to do a small Christmas tree, maybe put it on a larger windowsill or a table instead of putting it directly on the floor. And think about, too, when your guests bring over maybe like a chocolate gift and they have it wrapped up underneath the tree. Well, if your dog has access to that, they might get into it. So those little things to keep in mind that can really make a big difference. And I, in one of our, on our factoid, it said that the holly, yes. that actually can play a big factor yeah. with the dogs. Yep, so there's lots of um, plants that are dangerous for dogs, things like lilies, um, mistletoe, and holly are all dangerous for dogs. Okay, great information, Morgan. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. today. Thank you.